start by opening your web browser and going to the Lake Vic Fish Dataverse, which will be linked in the comments below. Search for DEM, which stands for Digital Elevation Model, and find the filled DEM Lake Victoria Region Raster 2000 and click on it. Scroll down to the download section. Click the square at the very top to download all of the files and then click the download button. Save your file somewhere where you will find it. Open your QGIS desktop and click the add raster data button and then navigate to the file that you just downloaded, the Lake Victoria DEM file. Click open. For this I'm using an SRTM file but it shows essentially the same thing. Go up to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, and then search for Open for Open Layers. If you already have it, it'll show up under the Installed tab on the left, but if you don't have it, it'll be under Not Installed, uh, and scroll down to it. Click Open Layers Plugin, click Install Plugin, and now it should be installed and ready to use. Click Close, and then go up to Web, Open Layers Plugin and then open street map and go to the first open street map. And then drag it to the bottom so you can see your dem layer on top of the street map layer. Zooming out a little bit so you can see the extent of the dem layer. And right click on your dem layer and go open properties. Go to transparency and under global transparency, move the slider to the right to increase the transparency of the dem layer so you can see the open layers underneath it. You can zoom in a little. Right click again and go to properties. Decrease that transparency a little bit uh, so you can see more of the dem layer. So you can see that it's a little bit transparent. You can see the open street map underneath it. Zooming out a little bit. Right click on your dem layer and go to properties again. And turn down the transparency to zero so you have a fully opaque layer. Under your processing toolbox, search for watershed and go down to r.watershed under the grass 7 commands. Your input file under elevation will be your dem layer. Make the minimum size of exterior watershed basin 100. Click Enable Single Flow Direction. And then we're going to save each individual file as, uh, as an output. So click on the ellipsis next to each of the categories and save it to a file that is named something similar to what the output will be. So the first one was flow acume. This is flow direction. This one is watershed basin. And then stream segments. And then half basins, then it's slope length, I'm calling it LS, and then slope steepness, I'm just calling S, and topographic index is the last one. And then go through and turn off all of the buttons that say open output file after running algorithm.
and click Run. This tool takes a little bit of time to run. Once it's finished, all the files that you told it to create will be in the folder that you directed it to. And now you can turn off your dem layer and go to the Add Raster Data button. And you'll see all of those files that were just created. So click on Watershed Basin. And continue this exercise in part two of hydrology processing.